Today we're going to look at how to find the surface area of a cylinder. Now there are actually two parts to the surface area of a cylinder. You've got the circular sides, so if you're looking at a can, it's the size of the can or the label on the soup can, and then the top, bottom, and base, which is the lid, which are circles. So we're going to kind of divide it into two parts. We're going to first look at the sides or the soup can. If you were to rip the soup can label off, what would that label look like? Well, the label actually opens up to a rectangle. So really, all we have to do is find the area of a rectangle, which is just length times width. But the, the length of that label is the distance around the top of the can. So it's actually the circumference, which is the formula D times pi, where D is your diameter. And then, of course, this side is your height of your can. So that's your height. So this, the sides of the can, that's actually called the lateral area, or the soup can label, as I call it. And I'm going to call that D times pi times H. And that's how I get my lateral area. Now, I've got to add to it the top and the bottom of my soup can, don't I? Well, those are circles. So the area of a circle is just pi r squared. So you take the pi r squared. And you have two of those. So you're going to take pi r squared plus pi r squared or 2 pi r squared. And that gives me the two bases. Then I'm going to take the sides and I'm going to add to it the two circles that are bases. So let's go back and write the full formula now that I've explained where it comes from. So the formula looks like this. If I can neaten this up real quick. It is d times pi times h, which is your lateral area, plus 2 pi r squared, which are the two bases. So this is my rectangular side, and these are my two bases. So let's look at an example. Say we have a cylinder, and the height is 5 and the radius is 2. So we're going to plug in the diameter it would be 4, because if the radius is 2, the diameter is twice that. So the diameter is 4. So 4 times pi. My height is 5. So just for my lateral area, I'm going to get 20 pi. Now let's add our bases. Now we need our radius. So let's go back. We had 2 for the radius. You can't see this very well, but that's a 2. 2 is a radius, so we're going to plug a 2 in there. So we're going to take 2 times pi times the radius, which is 2 squared. So that's 4. 4 times 2 is 8 pi. And 8 and 20 add to 28. And then you just stick the pi next to it. So that's how you find the surface area. Now remember, area is always two-dimensional. So I'm going to put units or inches, centimeters, whatever. It is squared because area is two-dimensional. So there you go. That's how you find the surface area. So we are going to add the sides or the lateral area plus two circular bases. The formula is D times pi times H for the lateral area. The two bases would be pi r squared times 2, or 2 pi r squared, and that gives the total surface area. So, I hope this video was helpful. <music>